vlog on YouTube. It's the main man. Your boy. David Tickholm, aka Saucy Day, back with another roll to six figures. Figures. Today, we're going to make today a very light day, straight to the point. You know, I hope everybody's doing good when you see this. Everybody's working hard towards their dreams, their goals, and their aspirations. Feel me? A life well lived. So, to start off Monday, April 22nd, you now I got on the charts. I seen 200 was flowing on top. We had an H4. This is an H4 zone right here, just so you see clearly. Um, 15 minute, as we can see, it was we've been kind of ranging, yeah, kind of ranging in that area. Um, 200 float on the bottom. I had seen this move right earlier. But I wasn't at the computer at the time, so I didn't take it, of course. But I noticed, like, okay, this is a double top. Just to be able to, like, you want to be able to spot these. So I seen it came back to this area and it's been maintaining um, resistance. As you can see, we're on a five minute two. It tapped into a, a five minute area. And I think I got in a little too early. Although this was two small candles, it tapped this candle right here. Hold on, let me just mark it off so you guys can see. Excuse. So we can see it tapped in. No, it actually didn't tap in. I was taking it based on this, um, based on the resistance right here, actually, to, to my own knowledge now I see. And what really happened was that I took the break of candle, as we can see, and 200 was clearing about on one minute. It came, they didn't touch my one to one, came back, and I lost the trade. Let's move forward, as you can see, 200 still on the bottom. <sighs> Should have been patient, waited on the five minute, because ended up coming to the five minute and holding. That was totally 100% my doing. As you can see, I, that would have been a big win. Boom, it came down, touched five minute demand right here. And as you can see, price came back to this area. I thought it was liquidity grabbing because it, it seemed to be a double bottom. However, I seen the um, yeah, liquidity grab five minute. I try to get in. On a one minute, I know you're like, it poured. Try to get in on a one minute break of candle off of a five minute liquidity grab, which now that I'm thinking about it, you have to see the same move on every, on whatever, whatever time frame you're on, you got to see that move on it. You know what I'm saying? And usually what will happen is that the five minute, one minute will be in correlation and I will take the break of candle on the one minute to have a tighter stop loss. And then I will ride the move as a five minute move. However, like I've noticed sometimes when it comes to liquidity grabs, at least it fails a lot more. So I gotta just be more mindful of those. But that was my trading day for Monday. Little light. Tuesday, I gotta, like I said, I still gotta, I gotta get back right. Not over trading. Over trading, taking one more trade than I usually take. <laughs> But not taking, even if it's just one more trade, not taking it, although this was a, a great winner, I just couldn't, like, this was such an exceptional winner, that's the only, it has to be a super clean look for me to take a third position. But we can see 200 flown on top. I was a little careful because, like I said, we were in an H4, this is an H4 so, um, supply area, as we can see. So boom, we go back to the five minute, nothing. One minute created a nice break of candle. Created a zone, took the break of candle, loaded up, and caught a, almost a two ratio, two RR on that. So that was a great day. Um, yeah, let me show you my losses too. This was a five minute supply. I tried to take on a one minute, lost that one. And I'm coming um, to a f another five minute zone. Once again, mind you, it's in an H4 high probability supply zone. 
and it's in the H1 low probability supply zone. So we also seen the move off the one minute and I took the break of candle. It puts close to my um, to my TP and then it, it came back and I lost this. What I'm starting to realize is when it starts, when candles start breaking like this aggressively, I just got to get out. Like, I don't know why I, I, I really try to hold too much, especially when it is nearing like my stop loss. I just got to learn how to just be more, be more. The key word I would use is more interactive with getting out on those, like be more proactive. Other than that, that was my day. My winner, this winner covered my losses, plus some on that. Well, let's keep going. Wednesday, as we can see, 200, um, one hour zone, 200 cutting through price. 15 minute, 200 on the bottom, pushing up price. We see breakage structure, 15 minute, clearly it's pushing up, break it, um, Break candle on the um break a structure, my fault. Five minute. Seen a five minute zone. Try to take it for the break of candle. Lost that. As we can see, came down, 200 cutting through. And I was like, okay, now it, now it must be ready. And I took this based on the one minute. As we can see, the one minute right here. Took the break of candle. It took me a minute to get in, but I took the break of candle. And yeah, took the break candle right here. And I saw it bounce off the two. It literally touched the 200. And what I realized is when it touches the 50, the um, other SMA or the 200, when it's like, when that can, when the price action candle is literally touching on it, like on the wake of it, watch for reactions. Cause reactions will tell you where price is going to push. Like wherever it reacts towards, that's where price is going to push. So very much pay attention to that. So that was my trading day for um, that day. Went on that covered by a loss and even exceptional. And then Thursday. Let's go back to Thursday. Huh? Thursday, 200 coming on top on the one hour. 200 coming on top on the 15. So we can see clearly we have intention to push for lower prices. Five minute, as we can see, clearly 200, all, all the EMAs are pushing downwards. This I think was a break even trade, so I didn't even count it. I think it was off the one minute, I forgot. Did I accidentally cancel it? I think I tried to take it for a sell, I mean for yeah, it had to have been for a sell. I'm not even going to talk about that. That was break even. And keep this going. Yeah, I got a little overzealous over here. Um, I seen that it started pushing up. And I'm going to be 100%. There was no reason for me. There was no reason for me to take this trade. It was no reason for me to change the trade. I I completely just seen the gaps to the top. I seen the gaps to the top and I think I think I had seen on a one minute. Um forgot what I clearly saw on a one minute. I think it was it was reacting. It was just it was just reacting. I thought I seen something amazing going on. Got in on a break of candle because we had a lot of gaps at the top. I thought it was trying to reach the supply area up here ended up pushing down into this five minute area over here and I took the break of candle. We had a high probability um, supply two took the break of candle, lost that one too. And that was my day for Thursday. And then Friday, I think I just chilled off from Friday. I don't think I took any. <laughs> yeah, Friday didn't take any trades. So biggest learning lesson for this week. Um, one. Pay attention to price action and how the EMAs are reacting off price action candle because it will tell a lot of the intention of the market moving forward. Two, take setups as they're supposed to be taken. Sometimes I think I, I get a little overzealous when I'm in a market 
and I'm just speaking on me right now and you got to trust your strategy you know what I'm saying you got to like if you don't if you're not seeing it clear then there's no there's no position for you to to enter that trade just like for example let me give you an example basketball you know what I'm saying if there's if you're not open to shoot the ball if you're being heavily guarded it's going to be a bad shot every time you know what I'm saying you're taking harder shots when you don't have to why take a hard shot when you could get a better shot wait to get open you know what I'm saying run off get off the pick hit a step back in and out sidestep something to get yourself open and soccer that would be you know you might have, you might you know do a flare to the other side make them volley it towards you and you do it a, a head a header into the net you know what I'm saying like everything has its way of positioning yourself to then attack you want to put yourself in the best position to get the highest probability of winning the trade you know what I'm saying at the end of the day the market is going to do what it does but we don't want to make it any easier on, on the market we want we don't want to make it hard on ourselves is what I'm trying to say we want to make it as easy as possible you know what I'm saying so why make it over complicated when we can make it easy and simple and that's just what we're going to do and that's where we're going to go moving forward and I just want to be have that moment of transparency to tell you like it's okay you know you mess up you just have to hold yourself accountable and to be honest you have a great feeling about next week it's the start of a new month and great things are happening great things are coming stay tuned if you have any questions leave a comment leave a like favorite the um you no know, click post notification bell um subscribe if you're new and yeah let's let's go on this road together i hope everybody who subscribed is you know what i'm saying whatever it is you're chasing that you're you're on that pursuit and if you come here to learn more about trading and other things that i'm gonna you know down the line get into well this is this is the place for you the great community that we're gonna build together i'm gonna see you on the next one peace